you uh, if you chafe a lot when you're walking, right? If you have big legs, big meaty adductors, okay? Right here, game changer. You rub it on the adductor, inner thigh, it's like you're gliding. You don't have to fucking hurt yourself every time you walk. Beard bone, put some on my finger, and then. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's very nice to meet you. I'm really trying to make an effort here to improve the quality of these videos. And I, I guess I could start off by just not like always holding my phone, like putting it down somewhere. So um, the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I started thinking like, you know, how can I really improve my YouTube channel? And one of the things is like just building a community. I want to uh, almost in a sense, like use this as a platform to meet other individuals who are just like me, um, you know, maybe young, I'm 22, I'm a business owner, I'm a, I want to be a bodybuilder, you know, I wouldn't call myself a bodybuilder just because I haven't competed, but I want to be, I live like one, and, um, you know, hopefully nurture some pretty cool relationships uh, just through sharing some of my life. So I think in this video, I wanted to show you what my life is like as a 22 year old business owner on my coach and want to be bodybuilder so i hope you find this pretty cool and if there's anyone out there who's just like me fucking hit me up because i'm trying to make some friends I am so i thought a cool little intro to uh, another thing of what i do in my life is to show you guys where i work so as uh as a business owner, a lot of where I work is from home. So this little environment you see back here is pretty much where I do most of my work. Um, this is my computer. I sometimes use it. It just really depends on the day. Sometimes I'll just use my laptop that you see here, um, which is where I do all my client check-ins, um, client messages, obviously on my phone, uh, filming my phone using this mic. You know, running a business is definitely a be it's a it's a privilege of course i'm not i'm never gonna say it's not but it doesn't mean it's easy there's a lot of things that i didn't expect to be doing when i thought of like you know running a business when i was younger it's definitely a blessing i'm blessed to do um what i do as a career and yeah this is like where i do a lot of the shit that you're watching right now so maybe editing a video and um my cats are like crying so like check them out they're over there eating i have two cats that's Dobby and that is Hagrid. So like, if you've ever watched Harry Potter, you know where that's from. So uh, yeah, as far as today, it's a Sunday. So I pretty much spent the first two hours of the day um, doing a little bit of cleaning. And then I spent like an hour, on, an hour and a half doing a little bit of uh, admin work is what I like to call it. So essentially going over my business numbers, going over my finances, uh, going over my goals for the week, where I did really, really well, where I maybe fell short, and you know how I can improve on that uh, coming into the next week. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much gonna wrap up the day here. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, so you know that's gonna be a little busier, um, just because there's it's the start of the week, have to get things going. But today, I think I really am just going to work on a few things, uh, visual-wise. Like, I want to make sure. You know, for example, a thumbnail for something like this is made or a thumbnail for my Twitch, which is another little like hobby that I want to get into, which is like streaming video games. As stupid as that sounds, I know a lot of people are like, dude, you're fucking 22. Why the fuck are you still playing video games? I don't know. I like it. OK, I don't really play them that often, um, but it's always been, you know, a dream of mine ever since I was a kid to like do that and make some sort of like content or uh, living out of it. And even if I don't, I think, you know, exploring that as a hobby is something that would um, at least bring me some joy, keep me occupied outside of just uh, working out and then boxing, which is another ho hobby that I just got into, which I love so far. So it's like I'm starting to get to know Anthony as a person more. Um, so it'll be interesting to have you along on this journey with me as well. As far as what I play, I'm a fucking scrub. I'm on the PlayStation 5. Um, PC, I wanted to get into it, but I'm just going to be honest. I have one. I just don't really use it. It's in the closet collecting dust. I'm probably going to sell it. It's just a lot to learn, and I don't want to put the time in to learn at least that right now. Sometime down the line, sure, 
But right now, I just want to get things uh, going with the bare minimum um, as my time is like spread out across so many things right now. It'd be pretty cool to show you guys how I film my content. And one of them is just like my iPhone. So I am filming this on an iPhone. I have a camera, but it fell on like the lens. So like it's like just jammed and it's it's not working, unfortunately. Um, so I've just been using my iPhone, which is completely fine. You know, the quality is still pretty solid. Not the best by any means, but um, you know, until I find myself getting another camera again, this will do. As far as the microphone that I'm using here, this is the, the DJI mic, okay? I invested into these maybe two months ago, and dude, they're so crisp, right? It comes in a little case like this. I got the dual one, so you know, if I ever have somebody with me, I have uh, the second mic here, so they can make content with me as well. Um, and it has one little receiver that you just plug into the iPhone. Um, but yeah, that's what I use to make my content. So I'm trying to figure out how to like stream and I got something going. So, you know, if you can see here, I finally got my screen to actually show up here. Mm, I'm not really seeing it do anything here. So uh, <laughs> it just goes to show how fucking useless I am with this. Uh, I definitely want to figure it out before tonight. So uh, let me just update you if I fucking get something going here. Final little update on this, guys. I figured out how to get this to stream, so that's good, and same thing with my voice. But the issue is, and this is the last I'll kind of say about this because it's kind of giving me a headache. I don't know how to get the game audio. All righty, ladies and gents. Wanted to hit you I, with a I, I voiceover of my workout I here. So um, like, I don't really want to only be a workout based YouTube this. channel, but I think, so, um, you know, just since it is a, a big part of my I'm life, you know, it's there, almost you know, in a sense part of my career. It, um, it is just something that I'll pop in here every now and then, and I've never ever really done a, a voiceover workout. So I thought I'd do one and maybe kind of see how that feels. and. Um, could be pretty fun. So starting off here, this leg day today, I'm actually running a new upper lower split after running a push pull legs variation for 27 months prior to this. So me and my coach um, determined a push pull legs was the best option for me. And I've been pretty much doing that for like the last two and a half years. Um, however, just most recently, I decided I just wanted to switch things up very temporarily, try something new, do new movements that you know, I've never done and just kind of have fun in the gym. So this is the first session of that. This is lower body here, starting off with hamstring curls. Um, and then I move into some adductor sets here, which you'll see in just a second. And usually I start with adductor, um, but this session actually starts with a seated hamstring curl. That last rep there, fighting for them partials, absolutely great movement here. Kind of felt like shit, to be honest, but, um, you know, it looked really good. So I'm very happy about that, okay? Uh, moving on to an adductor here. This was more of like a rest pause set. And that's why I'm taking this little break here. Take like a 20 second breather before I hit it hard again. Um, this was honestly such a great workout. I had a, a buddy of mine hop in towards the end of the session here and I didn't film certain exercises just because of that reason. I kind of wanted to just be present, but um, I'm very happy with the hack squat set that I was able to um, achieve here, which you're watching right now, which was three and a half plates on the Cybex hack. If you know anything about the Cybex hack, you know this motherfucker is brutal. Last week, um, I got five after taking some time away from this machine, and this week I got seven with, uh, with uh, beautiful form. Like I'm really, really happy with how I performed this and executed it, and this is really up to my standard, so I'm very proud of this set. Got a pretty gnarly seven reps here, um, which is two reps up, so that's a big, big progression considering the fact that I'm in a diet, um, which I have eight days left of. And, you know, I'll probably throw some physique picks up here uh, shortly, but I am down 16 pounds in about nine weeks, so a little under a pound and a half per week. And I'm aiming for 165 within the next eight days. So hopefully uh, that'll put me at 20 pounds in 10 days, 10 weeks, not 10 days. Um, so yeah, that'll be pretty cool to see. And then finished off the session here um, with some dumbbell RDLs. I did not show you the leg extension superset with uh, walking lunges prior, which had my glutes fucking fried. But you know what? My arms don't look like shit here. And I'm very happy about that. They're starting to slowly but surely fill in. Um, and as I feel like they're personally my weakest body part, everything else just kind of grows really well. And my arms just need a little bit more love. And so I'm pretty satisfied with how they look here. And um, yeah, this was pretty much the session wrapped up. After this, I just kind of came home, started doing some work, 
um, had a client call, and then after watching a show with Adri, decided to film this voiceover that you're listening to here now. So I think I'm going to add one more portion to this video uh, to just kind of wrap it up on a good note, let you know my thoughts. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. You're watching this on a Tuesday, but I filmed this on a Monday. So today is Wednesday, um, and the reason I wanted to uh, come on here, fucking shit, just lost my train of thought, fuck, thing is the reason um, I wanted, to, I was supposed to upload this yesterday, but the reason I wanted to wait a little bit longer was just because I wanted to add more to it. You know, I can't tell you exactly what more means. I just know when I was like editing the video, I'm like, you know what? No, I want to make this a little bit longer, a little bit more special. So for that reason, I was like, I'm just going to wait a little bit, play it out, see what happens in my days and make something interesting happen. So I uh, just came back from <clears throat> boxing like you just saw. Ooh, didn't see that shit, did you, motherfucker? My breakfast, um, it's 9.50 a.m. And as you can see here, I am about 6,500 steps in for the day, meaning I need another 6,000. So I'm ahead of the game and it's only 10 a.m. That's absolutely awesome. I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then I'm gonna go ahead and kick off with some work. So um, it's looking to be a really good day. I'm gonna do something very nice for Adrienne. I'm gonna make her a little gift basket. She doesn't know this shit because this video is in the future for her. She doesn't know what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with that journey. So that'll be fun to watch. I'm not weird. And that's what a lot of weird people say, but um, as you just saw, when I like to eat my breakfast, depending on the day, right? If I'm really busy, I'll just do my thing. But Wednesdays after boxing, after uh, a lot of activity, first thing in the morning, after a shower, I like to make my bowl of Greek yogurt, play some jazz music. That was disgusting. I'm sorry play some jazz music or slow music and eat my food. I don't like to watch television. I don't like to watch YouTube, at least not for breakfast. And um, the reason, guys, is, man, there's so much peace and um, value and silence and just being here. And the reason I thought about this is, you know, I opened up my Apple Watch and uh, the Do Not Disturb thing, it was on and I'm like, I thought about it and, you know, from the moment I'm awake to the moment I go to sleep, there's maybe one hour in the day where my phone is not on Do Not Disturb and um, the reason for that, guys, is there's just so much peace in moments like this. You know, this is just me, this is Ant. Uh, a lot of the things you see on my YouTube, a lot of the things on my social media, you know, you see the end product or whatever I'm doing, but you never see this, right? Like when I'm not doing anything. This is what a lot of, mm, not a lot of my day, but my very, there's very special moments in times like these. You know, I just have a candle on, the day's beautiful outside, I'm eating a very delicious meal. You know, I'm looking forward to the rest of my day. There's so much value in it, you know. And something I encourage you to do is sit in stillness for a second. Like a minute of you watching this video is going to feel a lot longer 
And then if I asked you to turn your phone off and sit there for a minute without talking or doing anything, that minute would feel like eternity. Whereas when we're busy, when we're working, you know, it's like they fly by. So I just like to do this because it gives me perspective. It helps slow me down and remind me that, you know what, I have all the time in the world um, to uh, finish my work today. And that sometimes when I work from a more relaxed state, I make more sensible decisions and actually work a little more efficiently rather than when I'm, you know, maybe anxious, maybe stressed. Um, I'm thinking about so many things at once and I'm, I'm not doing maybe my best work, right? So just thought I would share this. This is one of those moments where I was thinking, you know what, let me just share what I do, right? Um, I'm not trying to create anything. I'm, I'm not doing this just for the video. This is literally what I do every single Wednesday, right? I'll put on this, uh, the same little, what do you call this shit? Blanket. <laughs> and um, just sit here, all right? And what I'm going to do after this, I'm going to journal and I'm going to meditate or pray, whatever you call it for uh, maybe another 30 minutes, and then um, then I'll get my day started because then my cup is full. I've taken care of Anthony. Now, don't get me wrong. Every day doesn't look like this. Like, every day doesn't look like a very slow morning like this. Um, yes, I take my time, um, but within an hour and a half, I'm, I'm usually working already, right? Um, but on Wednesdays, these are my days to, to just slow down a little bit. Um, I did a little bit of work already on my morning walk, um, but everything else will come after this. Alrighty, what's up guys? So I wanted to show you guys here how I do my client check-ins. Um, I'm wearing the same mic that I was wearing in my other videos here in this in my shirt. You can't really see it, but um, here I am usually just working. I had a couple of check-ins to do on this specific day. Uh, so it was pretty busy, but you know, one of the things where I get to show up and serve my clients. So I thought it would be pretty cool to show you just where I do my work. You know, how I have my light on, how I just have these mannerisms um so yeah look it's over there I'm about to go walk in it's fucking hot look at the veins on my forearm like it's fucking hot dude look at that shit it's not even that crazy but it's just how how hot it is outside here in texas 105 degrees right now according to my car um so it's definitely a hot one out here uh i'm gonna pick up a few things so my idea right now is like just creating a little basket and getting her some nice food, candy, that sort of stuff. Maybe some Pepto Bismol, <laughs> shit like that. But I'll uh, I'll pick this thing, the things up, and then I'll show you uh, them in the car, and then I'll probably make the basket there also. This is a lot harder than I expected so far. I've been here 15 minutes. I have a bag. That's pretty much it. So we keep trucking. So I know Adri has been into cooking recently, so I'm getting her a fucking cookbook since she has made a lot of the recipes from her other one. So, you know, I hope she likes it. I'm not sure what she likes in cookbooks, but I know she likes cookbooks. So step one. Fucking shit. What the fuck is that? Here we are. Just got done at Target. Uh, we're gonna put her little gift basket together now. Um, we are going to get rid of tags. I think it's just like etiquette. At least that's the way I was raised, is just remove any, you know, pricing tags. I'm not sure why. Um, I guess, if I had to guess, it's because maybe, I mean, you don't want the person to think you only value them a certain amount. Um, Again, that's just the way I was raised. I don't really think about it too hard. I just kind of, you know, do. Um, I will say this. I am useless when it comes to putting the paper in these bags. So, frankly, I didn't even buy that just because I knew I would mess it up. Um, and I wanted it to look at least presentable. So, starting off, pop chips, okay? Now, yes, I am a fitness coach, but I do not force my girlfriend to live a certain way. She is her own adult, she can make her own decisions, and I just support, okay? Now, cookbook, right? Let me make sure there's no pricing on here. Truly simple cookbook, boom. 
put this right behind the bag of chips. All right, so it's like hidden. She can't see it. Next thing, pop tarts. Very simple. Now she's not gonna eat all of this in one day. She just takes her time, but give it like a, a couple weeks and she'll finish that. Okay. Sugar scrub for like baths and showers. Boom. Put this in the bag. Shit. All right. And then a few things left here. Medicine, right? Not gonna go into detail. Pepto-Bismol, not gonna go into detail. Boom. And just like that, we have a nice little gift basket for the girlfriend. So she's happy, I'm happy. I put in effort, you know. I also got myself these, uh, these nose strips because <clears throat> I sleep like, a, like an idiot. <clears throat> through my, I breathe, right? So whenever I use nose strips, I can sleep a little better because it just opens up my airway. So pretty much all for me. Honestly, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. It's been a, a lot of things that I've done today and it's a very hot day. So kind of just wanna go home, uh, finish up my work, edit this video, maybe film some podcasts and then hit some cardio. So um, aside from that, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you. You know, if you stuck around this month, this far, just wanted to say thank you for tuning into my life. I hope you kind of have an idea of what my life is like as a 22-year-old business owner. Um, and yeah, I'm glad to have you on my community if you're willing to stay. And I'll speak to you in my next episode. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and go watch one of my other videos. Press on my channel and you know, go scroll and stalk my life. You can find a lot of my life there. So I'll speak to you in the next one. Peace.